Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Meeple Station. Today, we're going to continue expanding our space station. We're going to get some veg or excuse me, fruit hydroponics built, and we're going to do a couple other things. So, uh, join me as we do that. We have a new person trying to live with us, Foam, and we're going to accept him because he's a level six botanist. He's clean and a genius. So let's go ahead and bring him on board. I had Hacksaw I'll go ahead and flesh out some more rooms, but we need to make sure we at least get the bed, another bed in there for our new friend Foam. So let's go ahead and plop a bed down there, and we'll plop a bed down there, and a wardrobe, a, where's the plant hat? A plant, and then we need the lamp, and then that will be a bedroom ready for our new friend Foam. All right, so let's go ahead and assign quarters and let's get, oh, we need the stranger a room and then we will give foam a room as well. And we've got research complete. I was researching um, a couple things off screen. We did education and efficiency. And then I also did the um, advanced furniture, which you just saw. So now we're gonna go ahead and start working on, do, 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 let's do medical beds. So they can go ahead and start researching that. We have a trader from the Lokov Initiative. Let's see what they want to sell us. Diamonds are quite expensive, so let's go ahead and sell them 20 diamonds, get ourselves a nice little pile of cash. We're running low on meals. We'll buy their meals as always. Sell off some of the vegetables we've got. Biomass, we got 100 biomass. That's good, because we're gonna need that in a few seconds. All right, I think that's, ooh, look at all the carbon we got. Let's go ahead and sell a little carbon off. All right, so I think that's good. Couple other things I did off screen. I expanded our storage down here. So I added these and these. I also expanded this a little bit in anticipation that we'll need to put our shield generator there. So that is ready to go when we need it. I'm expanding the kitchen area as well. My plan is to put another fish tank or two in just so we're producing a lot of fish. Um, and then like I said, I put these two bedrooms up here and that teleport pad. But that's the boring stuff. Let's get down here and start putting in the vegetable, or excuse me, I said it again, the fruit hydroponics, and there we go. And we're just gonna go ahead and drop six of them right along there. And then I think we'll put the medicinal ones on this side, but we'll hang off on that just for a little bit. Just for a little bit indeed. Um, so hopefully Hacksaw will come over here and go ahead and build those. If you haven't checked out the previous video, please do. We jumped into this brand new system and let me pull it up here. We are in the Irmo system. We are floating up in here. We have found out that there are plenty of pirates out here. A lot of meteors raining down upon the planet, upon the station, but luckily our shield generators are protecting us. There was a little bit of a um, plot twist. The pirates might be our long lost ancestors, so we will have to continue to explore and find out. Speaking of exploring, let's get the finch out there and we will launch it and let's go over here and it can explore Irmos A-B2 and let's see what we find out there so there goes the finch and it will do that exploring I already charged up our hyperdrive so that is ready to go in case we need to make a or when it's ready or when it's time to make our next jump we will be ready to jump it so that is all nice and charged up let's let's go take a peek at the fancy furniture we just finished researching so we can do wooden stuff, wooden bed, wooden table, wooden chair, wooden foot locker. Let's see if anyone's got wood to sell though. We might be too early for it. I don't see it anywhere on the list. That's okay. So we will have to keep an eye out for wood. And Hacksaw is getting the hydroponics built and they're saying they need some water. So let's go ahead and grab our water line and we will run that like that and then like that and there we go we will have water to those i don't think they need power nope do they need um and they don't need poo lines either so okay hexel just has to put some water lines in and we'll be ready to grow some vegetables then we'll also like i said be able to put the medicinal plants over there as well down below please oh uh the finch uh bu -bu -bum. Unlock the new technology, medical beds. Okay, so we don't have to research medical beds anymore. That's a nice little save. 
Uh, let's go ahead and start researching anti-ship turrets. What's our objective? Explore the air mouse system. Let's go ahead and start researching heavy alloys. It's a long one, but it looks like one that unlocks some more stuff and it allows us to start making cobalt as well. Um, down below in the comments, let me know what you like about Meeple Station, what you don't like about it, if you've played it. If there's any other games you're interested in me playing, definitely let me know as well. As always, looking for feedback on these videos, both on auto, audio quality, commentary quality, things like that. Um, helps me grow to become a better... Uh, oops, well, I guess we're going to buy those anyways. Helps me grow to become a better content provider for you guys. Uh, this little channel is starting to pick up just the slightest bit of steam. I don't want to jinx it too much, uh, but we've gotten a couple new subscribers over the last couple days. So thank you so much if you guys are watching for subscribing to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. I really, really, really do appreciate it. And, you know, feel free to leave comments down below. And we can start to interact. But again, that's uh, the purpose of this channel. So it looks like we're starting to get our fruits in. Uh, we probably need to get ourselves another botanist here soon. So let's go and I think, yep, foam is a botanist. So that is good. What's he got? Level 9 botany? Very nice. Does he have anything else? He's got a little bit of hazmeat, but everything else is at 3, so that's okay. So we should have two botanists running around growing our plants. Part of me wants to put an airlock door here, but I think that's a little overkill. Let's, um, let's at least just put a regular door there. Meteor shower inbound. If you watch, sometimes when the meteors hit, people will fall over. Let's see if we see anyone fall over here when a meteor strikes the station. I haven't seen anyone fall over. Well, we'll catch it in a second. That's all right. So let's go to structures, and let's just at least put a regular door in here just to kind of separate that area ever so slightly. All right, so Hacksaw will have to come and build that for us. Pillboxes are there guarding our front doors, the two doors, because those aliens like to come in and shoot at us. So those are certainly protecting us. Let's go ahead and turn on, we haven't got any fruit in yet, but let's go ahead and turn on lavish meals. And for a lavish meal, we need two fish, a vegetable, and a fruit. So let's set that at infinite, and we're going to switch fine meal to a minimum of, uh, let's go ahead and do a minimum of 50. And we'll set that as the minimum. And let's set the minimum of simple meals at 50, even though we have almost triple that. So we will keep that that. Uh, ooh, that was a double strike there. Did anyone fall over? I didn't see anyone fall over. <laughs> nope. Okay, so Hacksaw is out there expanding our kitchen. So we were going to go ahead and put down a new... Ooh, we got carpet. Let's go back to that. Do you guys see that carpet? What do we need for that steel? Um, okay, we might be putting some carpets down here in a minute. Let's, uh, modules, let's put down another fish tank. And rotate that like that and we're going to put that fish tank there and i'm thinking a fish tank here and then maybe a fish tank here or maybe another kitchen here and a fish tank here i don't know we'll see i think the two chefs can both use that kitchen so we don't really need additional kitchen space we just need to make sure we're producing more fish but hopefully with this new fish tank that will help out a lot all right got another trade ship and uh, no wood i'd really like to buy some wood we could buy some fruit but golly it's seven credits per fruit uh, what are they paying for? Diamonds are pretty cheap, so we'll buy those diamonds off them. Let's go ahead and buy their simple, or excuse me, fine and lavish meals. Buy off that fish. We will sell them some vegetables. All right, let's sell off about half our vegetables and buy half their fruits. So at least we get some fruits in stock and we can start to make some, uh, lavish meals for our meeples because that will give us a fairly large boost in mood not that we need it we've been doing pretty well on mood but it never helps to or never hurts to have that boost all right now let's go look at this carpet um blue carpet gray orange red green and purple let's start with my favorite color is blue so let's just for funsies we're going to do blue red oops we're gonna do all the colors of carpet we got orange gray isn't as fun but whatever green and then purple there we go so we've got um putting some carpet down 
And Hacksaw is in there, going ahead and slapping all that carpet in. So I wonder what kind of boost. Exceptional. Oh, I like that. Did you see? That's a massive boost. We've went from, you know, most of these have been satisfactory or modest to exceptional. Okay, I can live with that. So it looks like every room is now going to get carpet here, and Hacksaw will have plenty of work to do. So let's go ahead and do that again over here. Blue, red, and here's the boring part of me just saying the colors. Orange, gray, green, and purple. Who does that sound like? Is that like Eeyore? Sounds a little Eeyore-like. All right, so that will give Hacksaw plenty to do, and we will come back in and check on that. Those meteors, oh, oh, he's laying down. Dang it. I'm really hoping to find someone that has fallen over from the meteors hitting the station, uh, but nothing yet. Another trade ship rolling in. Let's see what they got. Anyone got wood? Because that is what we are looking for. Electronics, diamonds. Diamonds are pretty cheap, so we'll buy the diamonds off them. Fruit. Let's go ahead and buy a little bit of fruit. Since we got the credits, yeah, we'll just buy all of it off them. Sell them a little bit of biomass to offset that. We could, what else are they selling or buying for a fair number? Cobalt, well, we'll sell them a couple, about 100 of titanium ore. Since we seem to have plenty of that. Uh, ooh, a lot of iron ore, let's sell off. We're gonna get them up to about 1,000 on their side. There we go. Uh, what else could we sell them? I think that's about it. Plenty of carbon, plenty of ice. Another meteor sh shower inbound. Come on, someone fall over. Dang it, I, I swear this does happen. I've seen it a couple times. It was actually Feather twice right here in this square. One hit and then he went and did a bunch of stuff and then timing just happened to have him right there again at another meteor shower and boom, he fell down. So hopefully we can catch him there a third time. That'd be pretty funny. All right, so, so far I haven't seen these three be used, so we'll have to keep an eye on that, make sure those are being used. And Splendid, okay, I like to see these rooms getting improved massively. I wonder, is Splendid above Exceptional? I mean, they're both blue, so we can't complain too much. Our trade ship has rolled in, still no one with wood. We'll buy off all their fruit. Let's go ahead and buy off, well, I only got four fish. Buy off those meals as well. And then we will sell them. We'll sell them a computer core. Because they're let's sell them five computer cores. We can certainly make more of those. So that's quite what? 280 times five, so a little over a thousand. And then let's sell a little bit more of iron ore. Get them back up to a thousand on their iron ore. There we go. Uh Monzonite, we can sell them. Oops, yeah, we can sell some of that too. Let's go ahead and sell them a little Monzonite as well. And I think, uh, let's go ahead and sell a little carbon off. All right, there we go. Let's check our storage. How are we doing on storage here? Uh, let's see, quite, yeah, it's getting a little more full. That's okay. The Finch is back, so let's go ahead and send that out to explore another planet. Let's see, so it's explored, I think both of these. Scouted, scouted, scouted. All right, let's go over here and go ahead and scout that so off goes the finch to explore another planet for us research we're halfway ish a little under halfway for heavy alloys so that is plugging along nicely let's go check on hacksaw he has got quite a bit of the carpet down um see that room's at decent marmalades is at royal Royal. Oh, these are all going up to Royal now. Okay, so Foam has a Royal room. Let's see what Foam's reaction to sleeping in a Royal room is. So he's still in bed. And does he get a bonus for sleeping in a Royal room? Legendary quarters. Okay, so he's got a nice bonus from being in Legendary quarters. So that, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Feather's probably going to get angry that he doesn't have Legendary quarters here soon. It's all right, we'll over time get everyone upgraded to a uh, carpeted bedroom so they get that really big bonus. I mean, I, don't, I haven't seen anything over Royal. Then again, I haven't had these nice bedrooms so far in the game. 
All right, let's go ahead and buy off that fish. We'll buy off your vegetables, or excuse me, fruit and vegetables. We'll sell off a little bit of biomass. And then computer cores are not buying for as much as I'd like to see. Eh, we could make money on diamonds, but we're not going to. Graphene, uh, we'll sell them some. Yeah, we'll sell off a little bit of carbon here. All right, so lost some money on that trade, but that's okay. We got quite a bit in return. And let's see, the Finch uh, just got some materials. That's okay. So they can go ahead and bring that back for us. If you guys haven't checked out any of my other video series, they are pretty good. We got a Be Castled series going on as well. We are building a little castle on top of a hill. And in the last episode, the walls got breached. We survived. Uh, we did lose a lot of troops, so we will see how we handle the next episode. I haven't quite filmed it yet. So there, there's a chance the castle might fall again. That'll be our third castle that falls. Uh, got a lot of other little game videos going on, so please do check them out. And again, always leave that feedback down below. If you're liking this Meeple Station video, don't forget to like it. And if you got a friend that might enjoy this, don't forget to share it with them because we want to make... Oh, there he was. Did you see foam fall? Foam fell down on that meteor strike. It was just for a second we got to see it. But it was there, I promise. So now you know I'm not crazy. Uh, and let's see. We have uh, Kuko. Uh, looks like he wants to join. He's a seven pilot, but he's astrophobic. Uh, we're going to deny that one. So hopefully we get a better person. So let's see what they have to trade. Nothing I'm seeing that's tickling my fancy. We got plenty of fruits and vegetables and fish now. Uh, we will buy off their fine and lavish meals. Diamonds are pretty cheap, so let's go ahead and buy their diamonds. And I think that will be the end of that story. Yeah, that's all I want to do there. All right. Um, so like I was saying before I got distracted, if you've got a friend that would like these videos, please do share those with them. Some more meteors flying by in the background. Oh, and there fell uh, Cushion. Cushion was on the ground for a second, so that is, uh, I like that little mechanic. Uh, looks like they're starting to use these fruit hydroponics back here, so I am not as concerned as I was a little bit ago, so I'm glad to see they're using those. <sighs> I'm beginning to think we just tear these walls down because no one's using this over here. Let's um, let's just tear these down. Do do do, and then do do do. Uh, botanist, pretentious, insomniac. Um, sure, iceberg, you can join us. So let's go ahead and assign iceberg a room, and I'm pretty sure we have some open rooms somewhere. It's just a matter of finding them. Decent, acceptable, sad. Oop, here we go. Okay, so. Iceberg, welcome on board. You are meeple number 18 on our little station. This little station is growing. Um, so now we got three botanists, which should allow us to grow plenty of food. Oop, looks like he fell down. Iceberg fell on that meteor strike too. Let's see how many fish do we got now? Uh, where's fish? Fish, 121 fish, 246 vegetables, 119 fruit. We are churning out lavish meals. Hopefully they are staying on top of the lavish meals. It might not hurt to get another chef. So yeah, let's go ahead, because eventually I do want to get another chef. Let's put down another kitchen. And we are going to plop that guy right there. All right, so we will have two kitchens. So now we can have up to four chefs, but we'll hang off on that for just a little bit. Part of me wants to put a teleportation pad in here, but we might not. I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to think on that. Uh, how are we doing on the carpet? Carpet's coming along well. Hacksaw's got quite a bit to do. But it looks like all these rooms are turning over to Royal as the carpet gets in. So that's nice to see. Acceptable, Royal, Royal. I wish he would just do one room instead of this like back and forth type stuff. But, you know, that's just an AI issue. And not really a big issue or game breaking issue. But um, certainly kind of slowing the pace of things down. All right. Looks like our botanists are growing quite a bit. I wonder if he needs, um, let's add engineer to that list to make sure he can get in there and tear those walls down. Oops. Okay. So now, uh, Hacksaw should be able to get in there, tear those walls down. And then what I'm thinking, actually, you know, let's go ahead and cancel, cancel. 
maybe like that. Okay, we're gonna cancel that. We're gonna tear these walls down, wall this off, put a door in here. Let's add everyone to this list. Dr. Guard has meat botanist. All right, so now everyone can pass through this door. So that's good news. And that will allow us to then just kind of wall off our little dining area here and um, make it look a little better, I guess. All right, Finch is back. Let's send the Finch out on another exploration mission. So this is all explored. I see a satellite on this planet. So away goes the Finch to do some more exploration. Thank you, Finch, for your service. Ooh, this symbol changed. So we're at 850 in Renown. Um, it's bronze. I can't quite tell what it is. So that's pretty cool. We're moving up in the world. Uh, we started at zero and now we're at 886. Uh, so I'd like to see that progress. Hacksaw, I'd love for you to tear those down or get up there and do some other work. We probably need to get another engineer soon too. Um, just because we're giving him a lot of work orders. What's Loophole? He's just a doctor. Can you do engineering? All right, Loophole. You're going to become an engineer for a little bit, my friend. Your easy ride is over. So engineer or, uh, Loophole will get out there and help build some stuff for us. Let's see what VAS has to sell. We will buy its lavish meals. We will buy its fine meals. Let's sell it some... We can sell it some graphene. Because we got plenty of carbon to replace our graphene let's sell it some but da, 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 um, I guess we'll sell a little bit of titanium and then let's sell it some ores we'll sell it some titanium ore as well bye bye titanium ore there we go all right so we're at over 20,000 on our uh, credits so that's going up nicely we got Hexel down here enjoying a nice little meal I don't know why Cushion or Loophole is way over here. He should be over here building or something because that's why I put you as an engineer, but that's fine. I'm thinking on this next floor, um, okay, Finch just found some materials. Thinking on the next floor, we might put like a medical ward um, or, you know, do one of these offshoots as a medical ward and then do the rest as living space. So that's, uh, that's something to look forward to in the next video. So thank you so much for stopping by in this video. We didn't do a lot for the mission, but we certainly are expanding our station. We got some fruit hydroponics over here going. We expanded our kitchen quite a bit. We, you guys didn't see it, but we expanded the storage, got some research done. We are upgrading our bedrooms massively with all this carpet. So that has been a very cool thing we have done. Don't forget to like this video. Comment down below, both on Meeple Station, what you like, what you don't like about it, if you've been playing it. And again, on my audio quality, commentary quality, video quality, all of the technical aspects of creating a YouTube video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we will see you in the next Meeple Station video.